Hey, I'm Miss Natalie. Welcome back to my channel. I'm a kindergarten teacher on a mission to empower you to confidently navigate your child's education. Today I'm tackling a long awaited topic that I talk about a lot in my other videos, which are sight words and CVC words. If you have a child in kindergarten, first grade, or second grade, sight words and CVC words are a huge part of your life. If you don't know what I'm talking about yet, sit down and listen up. And if you do, I've got some great tips for you to practice with your child at home today. Before I get started though, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and share this video with one other parent you know that's working on sight words at home with their child. words, also known as high frequency words, are essentially the most common words in the English language. These are words that we see so often it is better just to have them memorized than take the time and effort to sound them out. Plus, a lot of them do not follow common spelling patterns, so it's better just to know them instead of wasting your time sounding them out. Some common sight words you might know are the, is, me, my, and, what, and all of these are words we see all the time. We take for granted knowing them by heart as adults, but if you don't know these words off the top of your head, they will seriously slow down your reading. To combat this, there are common lists based on your child's age, grade level, and reading ability to determine what words are right for them to learn. The lists that are most common are called the Fry word list and the Dolch word list. Now, they're both organized differently, but they essentially carry the same list of words. One of my favorite websites to help get access to those lists, printable flashcards, and other activities is sightwords.com, and I've put the link for that below in the description. On the other hand, we have CVC words. CVC is an acronym that stands for Consonant, Vowel, Consonant. These are three letter words that follow a spelling pattern with two consonants at the beginning and end and a short vowel sound in the middle. Once you know and understand that pattern and know a certain amount of letters, you can easily sound them out and spell them correctly. These are the first words that we teach children to read and spell because once you know that pattern, you'll have a really high success rate with those words. Sight words and CVC words have different strategies since one is based on spelling and the other is based on simple memorization. With the sight words, break it down into monthly or weekly goals. It's appropriate to work with your child on three to five new words a week, depending on their experience with the words and how quickly they're picking them up. And then as they learn more, to have a few review words that you're working with too. The simplest approach is the old school approach using flashcards. I would make two sets of flashcards and then use them to play some fun games like Go Fish or matching games. Another really fun strategy, if you have three sight words you're working on for the week, is to tape them up outside of your child's bedroom door and have them be the password. And every time your child goes in or you have to go in even, they have to read the password. A lot of kids like tactile activities like making their sight words out of Play-Doh or having refrigerator magnets to spell them. Chalk on the driveway is a really fun way to get your child practicing with them. Children can really ebb and flow with their sight words. It might take them a month to pick up five sight words and then you'll see a light bulb go off and suddenly they're learning sight words like crazy. Some children might learn 10 to 20 sight words immediately and then pause for quite a while on a plateau before they pick up more. I also order the sight words from easiest to hardest by looking at the number of letters and truly how common it is. The first sight words that I teach have one to two letters, words like a, I, to, me. Then I move to three letter words and four letter words. That is where a lot of kids plateau that have been steadily learning sight words all along. So don't be afraid if one month suddenly your child can't get it. You might just need to add in some more review words to keep the confidence going and change up your strategy. For the CBC words, focus here on the actual skill of sounding it out and hearing those letter sounds. Memorizing how CBC words are spelled, I guess, can be handy, but if your child doesn't know the strategy when they encounter one they don't know, they're not going to be able to work without an adult nearby them. Let's say you've got the word hat. I start with the word hat, and I'll sound it out with my child. H, A, T, hat. And then I'm going to teach them that we're going to do some magic spelling and we're going to magically turn the word hat into cat. K -a -t. C-A-T. I might wave my magic wand, abracadabra. We've got the word hat to cat. 
And now we're gonna go from hat to cat to sat. S at, s sat. Do you hear that first sound? Sat. Once your child has gotten really good at exchanging the first sound in a word, you can have them change the last letter in the word. You could have them use a blend, like maybe CH says ch chat. And if they're really getting good, you can have them play around with the vowels. Changing the vowels is a more advanced skill. It is really hard for children to hear the vowel sounds, and a lot of them struggle with that through first and even second grade. This will be particularly true if you speak another language at home or if your family has a regional accent. With that, you might have to push it or make the vowel sound for them so that they can start to hear it. So that sums up sight words and CVC words. Go ahead and drop any questions below that you have about working with your child. I'd be happy to answer them. I'd love it if you shared this video with one other parent you know working on these same goals. And make sure you've subscribed. My name is Natalie and this is Primary Focus. See you next time.